Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ekta Bhushan, teaching anatomy and physiology of exercise at Indra Gandhi Institute of Physical Education and Sports Sciences, University of Delhi. I welcome you all to online lectures of CEC UGC. In this series, we will discuss different topics associated with sports medicine. But today in particular, we will discuss the topic introduction to sports medicine. So, sports medicine bridges the gap between science and practice in the promotion of exercise and health and in the scientific assessment, study and understanding of sports performance. Regular features include sports injury prevention and treatment, exercise for health, drugs in sports, and recommendations for training and nutrition. In specific, we can uh, specify the definition of sports medicine that is sports medicine is a branch of sports medicine, uh, medicine that deals with physical fitness, treatment and prevention of injuries related to sports and exercise. The sports medicine is the area which creates the positive environment so an athlete converts his all genetic potentialities into phenotypic realities. This is by Dr. P. K. Pandesar from LNIP. So, sports medicine is an umbrella term representing a broad era of specialities that bridges the academic disciplines of medicine and physical education as well as the basic sciences, for example, physiology, chemistry and physics. Within, uh, within clinical medicine, physicians in primary care or pediatrics may become team physicians for competitive teams at all levels, intercollegiate, professionals or amateur sports. Other members of a sports medicine team typically include an orthopedic surgeon, a certificate athletic trainer, a physical therapist or kinesiotherapist and a strength and conditioning specialist. Other professionals such as those in the area of sports nutrition, sports psychology, sports physiology, pediatry, sports vision, sports dentistry and chiropractors are valuable consultants. It is clear from the definition of sports medicine that the major aim of sports medicine is maintaining physical fitness of sports person. It also aims at treating and preventing sports related injuries and rapid recovery of patients. So, now we will uh, see there are three specific aims of sports medicine. First is to uh, scientific promotion of sports and game. The second one is developing preventive health care and the last one is sports medical extension services. So, if we we'll talk about the objectives, the main objectives of a sports medicine is to prevent the damage to the human system caused mostly by inactivity. Uh, for example, lack of movement or hypokinesia due to sedentary habits of modern world with various push buttons facilities. Automation uh, and lack of uh, physical exercise or the damage caused to the sportsmen because of excessive training and load in the competitive world. So, first objective for of uh, sports med uh, medicine will be prophylactic healthcare. In this segment, uh, maintenance of fitness comes, detection of disorders, functional evaluation, delaying of age and health education for sports persons. The second one will be the scientific promotion of games and sports. So, in scientific promotion of game and sports include planning of training program, evaluation of training program, injury prevention, psychological counseling 
and guidance. The third one is sports medical services. So, sports medicine uh, services may also be extended to prevention of obesity, cardiac illness, cardiac rehabilitation, prevention and control of diabetes. So, whether you are a physical trainer, physiotherapist, medical graduate, fitness trainer, nutritionist, event manager or a sports coach, this stream can not only add to your experience but also enhance your expertise to further provide impetus to your career in the field of sports and physical education. So now we will focus on scope of physical education. There are various scopes of physical education in different fields uh, which includes the human anatomy and physiology, uh, sports and first aid, prevention of accident in sports, sports injury rehabilitation, female and sports, study of optimal load for different age groups, scientific promotion of sports, fitness for sports, illness caused by environmental, physiological and psychological disturbances, specific nutrition for sports persons, new methods of detecting the doping as well as use and abuse of drugs, preventive and curative exercises, sports and traumatology, physiotherapy. So, these, these are uh, some of the scopes and now when clubbed with your primary education with sports science qualification as a sports scientist, you can work as sports team manager, sports coaches, sports medicine specialist, sport, uh, sports physios, sports event managers or can run your own sports and fitness centers with proper knowledge of sports sciences. So, need for sports science specialist also exist for active population for society as they can help these people to enhance their performance, to prevent injuries and to achieve fitness level for laser and fun activities. Now, these are uh, sports medicine experience and knowledge will be help, helpful for to get a respectable, respectable jobs. So, these are uh, I am mentioning some of the very good jobs associated with uh, sports medicine which is one of the a foremost scope of sports medicine uh, that is uh, exercise physiologist, fitness center manager, sports administrator, sports coach, sports development officer, sports therapist, team physiotherapist, dope control officer, team doctor, sports medicine expert. Now, we will uh, talk about some importance of sports medicine. So, first importance is specialized care. So, specially trained sports medicine specialists treat athletes, fitness professionals and active people. In addition, they work together with orthopedic surgeons and physical therapists to establish customized treatment regimes for each patient. The second one is enhanced injury and re-injury prevention. In sports, this is very common. You will get injured and if you will not take care of that, you re-injure yourself. So, they have a, uh, they have a uh, thorough awareness of how athletes utilize their bodies during practice and play to provide their patients professional advice and introductions on how to avoid injury or re-injury to previously damaged sports of the body. Osteoarthritis and 
some other syndromes are two of the most common cause of knee pain in young adults according to health creeds while there's a linear relationship between increased physical activity and knee pain it doesn't mean we have a, uh, we have to stop exercising balance is the key so pre uh, participation a physical test guarantee that their patients are ready to resume their activities and they assist both professional and immature athletes in making critical return to play choices the next one is alternatives to traditional treatments so sports medicine physicians and surgeons use the newest methods and treatments to help restore function to damaged region if you have a uh, uh, benign a foot doctor uh, may recommend a benign treatment depending on the severity of your foot deformity then enhance sports performance so when it comes to designing individualized training regimes sports medical professionals are regularly called upon these specialists may evaluate athletes anatomical strengths and weaknesses and uh, training programs recommendations can be made and uh, opportunities for improvement the next one is new and innovative treatment options so sports and fitness fanatics have a keen awareness of their bodies and will go to any lengths when wounded to rehabilitate and go back to their favorite activities when it comes to fresh and creative treatment choices sports medicine is a beautiful place to start using sports medicine treatment damage regions may be restored and revitalized resulting in faster healing and less recovery time the next one is sports injury prevention so injuries may be prevented with proper form or and technique quality equipment and common sense weather training playing and exercising however even the most experienced athletes should take their time getting back into shape after a period of inactivity this is a formula for harm so athletes should always warm up before a workout and cool down afterward a performance training program can help them improve their technique and be aware of tiredness and dehydration affecting focus and leading to an accident dizziness faint uh, faintness nausea overhead overheating and severe tiredness are all warning indications that athletes should pay attention to now we will talk about and discuss something about indian society of sports and exercise medicine that is issem so indian society of sports and exercise medicine is a national level registered society for sports and exercise medicine the society has now been expanded to include all the professional in the field of sports exercise medicine and sciences and related ailed fields recognizing the multiple and uh, interdisciplinary nature of sports and exercise medicine issm em boards Uh, to the uh, to be the uh, only national level society in the country by recognized specialists in the field of sports and exercise medicine the society was registered under societies registration act uh, in 1860 on 9th july 2019 
Now we have come to the conclusion. So it is impossible to overestimate the re relevance of sports medicine in the games and sports. Yet despite the fact that humans have been participating in sports since the dawn of civilization, more and more individuals today understand the value of exercise and physical activities for healthy lifestyle. Every day people are becoming more interested in sports like the ones at Olympics or World Cup the, that were previously reserved for the healthiest and most skilled among us. Thus, the importance and relevance of sports medicine with its focus on all aspects of sports and exercise from injury prevention to performance training has never been greater. So I hope you understood the concept of sports medicine, its aim, objectives, scope and importance. That's all for today. See you next time. Thank you.